What about the risks? Aren't there risks? Aren't there risks involved? This is a very important um, question. People bring it up. You know, uh, say, you know, if I'm going to try something like this, if I'm going to try something that, that's innovative, that's different, that's never been tried before, I should have a lot more money. I should have a lot more money before I, before I embark on a project like that. I should have more context or, or more resources of some sort. That's what I should have. Because Murphy's Law is in effect when you try to do this stuff. Anything that can go wrong will go wrong. And some people even say that, that Murphy was an optimist in this regard. But the truth is, when it comes to risk and the way we respond to risk, is that we as human beings are not very rational. We're not very rational when it comes to what we think about risk and how to execute ideas in the face of risk. Um, we think that more money is going to help us. But something interesting happens as soon as we get this money. And I, I, I'll show this to you by, by using an analogy. <clears throat> Say that you're driving a car, and you enter a dangerous section of the road when you drive this car. It's slippery and dark. What do you do? Slow down, right? Okay, and then you exit the section, it gets safe, and, 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 and the dry roads and so on. What do you do? Speed up. Right. Now, think about what happens. You're driving the car, the road gets safe, you slow down, and then, I'm sorry, it gets dangerous, you slow down, and then it gets safe, you speed up. You're altering your behavior based on the riskiness of the environment around you. You're driving faster when the road is safer. But the risk of an accident is actually the same in both sections of the road. But the road gets dangerous, but we slow down, so we just compensate for that. You see this over and over again in traffic accidents where they track this stuff. They, they, they had 5,000 high school students in Atlanta, and, and many of them they gave, and a chunk of those they gave state-of-the-art driver's education. You know, um, they got to um, learn. Uh, their parents were educated on how to teach their kids how to drive. Uh, they got to drive in a simulator for 12 months. They got theory and all this stuff, and they became obviously better drivers. And yet they had the same level of accidents as those kids who hadn't get, gotten any of this stuff. Why? Because if you're a good driver, you tend to take a bit more chances on the road. If you're a poor driver, you drive a bit more defensively.